and as you can see, instead of the page telling me to log in, it now tells me to open Discord. Hello everyone, Ictus here, back again with another video. In this video, I will show you how hackers can gain access to a Discord account without even knowing the user's password. Before we start with today's video, I would like to ask you guys to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. This really helps me out a lot and it tells me that you guys are enjoying the content. So without further ado, let's get started. Recently, a lot of people have reported cases where their Discord accounts were taken over and an automated message was sent to all of the victim's friends. The message looked like this and it promised users a free Discord Nitro subscription for a month. Discord Nitro is just a subscription that gives you some benefits within Discord itself. Things like custom emojis, animated avatars, higher resolution screen sharing and more are benefits of this subscription. The message included a malicious link that took the users to a page that looked like this. This page usually said that the Steam platform and Discord have made a partnership and that they were giving away free Nitro to users. Obviously, this was fake and it was an attempt to steal Steam user credentials. But how were the hackers able to send all of these messages without knowing the password of the user? To understand this, we first need to understand how Discord authentication works. Discord uses a token authentication system. A Discord token is a phrase of letters and numbers that acts as an authorization code to access your account. It effectively acts as an encryption of your username and your password. So these hackers use the tool called Discord Token Grabber. This type of malware tries to find Discord tokens stored on the target system and sends them to the hacker. So let's see how this attack worked. Before we get started, I would like to point out that this video is made for educational purposes only and that I will not be held accountable for any of your actions. Don't use this information to harm anyone. The tool that we are going to use is this one. Like I said before, we are going to use a Discord token grabber. I will leave a link to it in the description of this video. So this Python script will search on the target's local file system for Discord tokens and once it finds one, it will report it using a Discord webhook. Webhooks are a low effort way to post messages to channels in Discord. They do not require authentication in order to use them. The report will also include the username of the user, the mobile number assigned to it, the email address, public IP, billing information and more. You can now understand the power of this malware. So you can download the zip file from here and extract it wherever you want. I have already done that because I modified the code of the program to hide some information I don't want to share. Now open Discord on your machine and create a new server. To do that, go over here and click on add a server. Select create my own for me and my friends and just give it a name and click on create. Now head to the settings of the server and select integrations. Click on webhooks and also click on the captain hook webhook. Now you can copy the webhook URL and now we are ready to edit the Python script. I will be editing my script with sublime text. So scroll down until you see the URL open function over here and paste down your webhook URL. So I'm going to copy it again and paste it down. We can now save the file and we are ready to go. Now open a terminal window and make sure you have Python 3 installed on your system. Head over to the directory where the script is stored and now we can run it. Now if you have a look at your Discord server that you just created, you will see the Discord script message. This means that it executed correctly. You should have gotten the token, email address, phone number, public IP and billing info from your target. There is more information here like the username of the user, the PC name, the token location, the Nitro status but we don't care about these. Of course you can try to compile this code 
and make it an executable so that Python does not need to be installed on the target system in order to execute the script. But what can you do with this token? Open an incognito Chrome window and head over to discord.com. Open the developer console with the F12 key, click on application, select local storage and click on discord.com. Now create a new key and give it a name, token. Press enter and now for its value, add a double quote and copy the token that you just got from your target. Paste down the token, make sure there is no extra space here, if there is one, delete it. And now add another double quote. Press enter again and now you're ready to go. All you need to do is press Ctrl, Shift and R all together. And as you can see, instead of the page telling me to log in, it now tells me to open Discord. When I click on that, it lets me log in to the account without even specifying the user password and the username. Please keep in mind that if the user changes his password, his token will also change. So if this doesn't work for you, it might be because the user changed his password. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and that you learned something new. I will see you guys on the next one.